Recently, the firing tests of the small-sized AM-17 assault rifle have been completed, said Alan Lushnikov, president of the Kalashnikov Concern. Firing tests as an element of state tests of our AM-17 assault rifle have been completed. This is a compact assault rifle. We developed it for auxiliary units on the instructions of the Ministry of Defense, said the president of the concern. According to him, the new assault rifle may soon be assigned the letter, O-1. The paperwork is underway. Let us recall that the main features of the new AM-17 are the use of high-strength polymer materials, including in the design of the receiver. The new assault rifle has a folding telescopic bootstock, a two-way fire mode selector, a Picatinny rail rigidly connected to the barrel, and other innovations. Structurally, the AM-17 automatic rifle consists of a receiver with a barrel and bootstock, a trigger box, and a fore-end. The trigger and barrel boxes are connected by transverse locks. All types of 5.45mm combat cartridges are used for shooting. The AM-17 was developed at the Kalashnikov Design and Technology Center to meet current standards for automatic weaponry. Field trials included deployments within the SVO zone, where it reportedly received positive feedback from military personnel. Based on this feedback, several modifications were implemented to further improve the rifle's efficiency and adaptability. Serial production of the AM-17 is slated for 2025, with plans for it to replace the AKS-74U, which has been in service since 1979. The AM-17 represents a modernized evolution from its predecessor, particularly evident when examining its technical specifications and design enhancements. Weighing approximately 2.5 kilograms without a magazine and accessories, the AM-17 is lighter than the AKS-74 used 2.7 kg, a reduction achieved largely through the integration of high-strength polymer materials. This weight reduction makes the AM-17 more manageable in various combat scenarios, enhancing maneuverability and reducing fatigue for operators. While both models share a similar length in their stowed and deployed positions, 730mm when extended and 490mm folded for the AKS-74U, the AM-17's design emphasizes modularity and ergonomic adaptability, including a telescopic folding stock and a charging handle that can be positioned on either side. In terms of fire rate, the AKS-74U maintains a cyclic rate of around 700 rounds per minute, slightly lower than the AM-17's approximately 850 rounds per minute. The AM-17 thus delivers a more rapid fire rate, responding to demands for higher responsiveness in close quarters combat. Furthermore, the AKS-74U uses a long-stroke piston system, while the AM-17 employs a short-stroke piston, which generally offers improved control during rapid fire, reducing recoil and enhancing shooting accuracy in sustained engagements. Both rifles share the 5.45x39mm cartridge, ensuring compatibility with the Russian military's standard ammunition, though the AM-17's lighter polymer structure and enhanced features make it easier to handle during intense, extended firefights. The AM-17's design also incorporates modern combat essentials, such as an integrated Picatinny rail for mounting optics and accessories, which the AKS-74U lacks. Although the AKS-74U features adjustable iron sights, the AM-17 offers improved adaptability for optics and attachments, aligning it with current tactical requirements. Together, 
These updates underscore the AM17's evolution toward a versatile, user-friendly firearm that is both lighter and more adaptable, making it a substantial upgrade over the AKS-74U in the Russian military's small arms arsenal. The AM-17 distinguishes itself through its extensive use of high-strength polymer materials, especially in the receiver design, which reduces the weapon's weight without compromising durability. This modernized design meets the demands of contemporary combat with essential features, such as a foldable telescopic stock, an ambidextrous fire selector, a Picatinny rail integrated with the barrel, and a charging handle that can be positioned on either side. Structurally, the AM-17 consists of a receiver that incorporates the barrel and stock, a trigger unit, and a handguard. The receiver houses the locking mechanism, a bolt carrier with the bolt, and a return spring. The trigger unit includes a control handle, magazine port, and firing mechanism, while the handguard contains the front sight and a heat shield to mitigate overheating during sustained fire. The receiver and trigger unit are connected by transverse locks that allow for easy disassembly of the rifle. The AM-17 operates on a gas piston system with a short-stroke piston, with locking achieved through a counterclockwise rotation of the bolt, engaging three locking lugs. The rifle is compatible with all standard 5.45mm ammunition used by the Russian army. Looking ahead. Kalashnikov plans to expand the AM-17 platform to include a range of combat and hunting weapons, including models of different calibers. This development represents a new direction for Kalashnikov, as the company aims to modernize its armament offerings for the Russian military and explore potential international markets.